Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in uh, fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement as well as the quick sheets. Uh, you get a 10% discount at checkout with Guru 10. That is my discount code. For that commercial, Kaplan allows you to get a free look on their content. The best free supplement for your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. All right, let's get busy on this question. During the past year, the market price of Capco common stock increased from 47 to 50. Hmm. Over that period, Capco's earnings per share increased from $2 to $2.50 per share. Uh, and their dividend payout ratio has decreased from 50% to 40%. So the board had uh, been paying out 50% of the earnings as a distribution to the shareholders. And now the board has decided that they're only going to pay out 40% of the earnings uh, as a distribution to the shareholders in the form of a dividend. So based on this information, the current yield, current yield is testable on every exam. So I will put this practice question in every playlist because you have to be able to do it. I think of current yield as what an investment pays me divided by what it costs me. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what this investment pays us. So if it's a 250 per share is the earnings per share and the board has decided to pay out 40% of that as a dividend, 40% of 250 is a dollar. So now we know the dividend is a dollar. What an investment pays me, stocks if it pays is a dividend. A bond would be interest. So that's uh, got my first step here done. Uh, what it pays you, divided by what it costs you, the annual dividend or the annual interest, in this case it's a stock, the dividend, divided by what it costs you, the current market price, looks like I got a typo there. Okay, so now we're gonna do our division. The vast majority of the math on the test is division. So if you can't decide what to do, you should divide. When you can't decide what to do, take the first number divided by the second number. All right, so uh, we're back in business here. So boom, oh, not 250. Dean made a mistake there. That's not 250, it's a buck, right? So we take our buck, we divide by 50, and we get 2%. So the answer is 2%. It is choice B. Uh, I would suggest that uh, not only would you be able to do current yield, I don't know if it'll be as difficult as a Kaplan mastery exam. You know, Kaplan uh, are bigger jerks than the real jerks. They're trying to stretch your mind and hope it doesn't go back to the same spot. They want you to be pleasantly surprised. And the Kaplan QBank is challenging, particularly the mastery exam. But that's a good thing. There's no better QBank out there than Kaplan. Kaplan is the most similar to the exam you'll actually be taking. Uh, that being said, I think this would be a little more straightforward on the test. The other thing I would be able to do on the test is price to earnings ratio here, right? So you would take the price uh, divided by the earnings, 50 divided by 250. That's not the question here, but it would be another thing I'd be prepared to do as a test taker. All right. Well, remember, inch by inch, your test is a sense, yard by yard, your test is hard. And I will see you for the next explication request, whenever that may be.